Hello YouTube and welcome to another video and welcome to my channel The Art of Perfumery. Today we're going to talk about Libo Le Parfum that was just released 2022. That's another flunker from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier. How does this fragrance smell? If I have the original Libo, do I need to get this one? Is it going to be redundant? Stick around and find out. go the fragrance comes in this can the typical can from the house of Jean Paul Gaultier which are really nice because it actually protects the fragrance against impacts protects the fragrance against the light which is really nice if you're gonna travel if you're gonna take it away I'm gonna show uh, the bottle this is the bottle this is how it looks like really nice it's exactly like the bottle of the original but with a darker gradient color really nice uh, it's very well built the glass is very thick uh, you have this stopper, looks like a necklace, really amazing. I particularly think that what was nice, it's even better. i show you side by side the two presentations, uh, just how it was and how it is now. I think that's a big upgrade, really nice presentation. I'm going to show you the spray and then I'm going to the notes and the review. Take a look. As you can see, it doesn't spray a lot of juice, which is very nice because you have a bit more control. This fragrance is quite strong, so you need control. You don't want a uh, too powerful spray because you don't want to over spray this. Trust me, this thing is strong. Okay, I'm gonna smell the fragrance. We're going to the notes and then we're going right into the review. Okay, Le Beau Le Parfum, yes, another flunker from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier, a house that never gets sick of releasing new flunkers every minute, every second, every hour, all the time. But the question is, how does this fragrance, the EDP version, stand against the EDT version? If I own the EDT, do I need the EDP? Well, the good news is this definitely has the DNA of the EDT version, the original, but I would say it is different enough so you can have both fragrances without being redundant because they are definitely different. Uh, this fragrance follows that trend of Eau de Parfum version or Parfum version or in this case Eau de Parfum Intense as the house likes to call it. Uh, and this fragrance is actually a darker version, it's I would say more full bodied, it's sweeter, you really need to like uh, sweet fragrances to like this one because here you have a whack of tonka bean. So this is not a, a summer fragrance at all, this is definitely a, a fragrance I'd say more for uh, mid-spring, uh, fall and also winter. It will work fantastically, very well for summer nights, I'd say for uh, spring nights or mild spring days and definitely fall and winter. The other big improvement in this fragrance is definitely longevity. I get solid 10 hours every time I wear this fragrance. As, as you can see, this is a new fragrance and I'm wearing it a lot lately because this thing is addictive. When I was testing this fragrance side by side, with the original, I had the impression that the original was definitely a more watered down uh, version of this, which is good as well because you need you know, uh, watered down fragrances for the summer. You can't wear this on the summer. If you compare this with the original with the Malibu cocktail, I'd say this would be a version of this Malibu cocktail that they added pineapple, they added a bit of cream because this is definitely creamier and smoother compared to the original. And they also added, uh, I'd say, a bit of a tutti fruity or slash bubble gum essence to this composition because this is definitely has that bubble gum-ish vibe that you find in a lot of fragrances from this house and it's also thicker uh, compared to the original okay let's go to the notes breakdown and then we're going to dive into the review at the top uh, we have pineapple iris and cypress in the middle we have coconut and woodsy notes and at the base we have tonka bean sandalwood Amber and also Amber Gris. I'm gonna apply again just to get a fresh impression and then we're gonna dive right into the review. <sighs> Very nice opening indeed. Okay, the fragrance opens fresh and dark at the same time. I will explain that with time. The fragrance open, uh, I'd say already complex, especially with three notes, coconut, uh, pineapple and also tonka bean. These are the three main players of this composition, then three notes, I'm gonna smell it from the moment I spray the fragrance up to the very end of the life of the fragrance. The fragrance already opens very sweet uh, with this tonka bean, with the kind of bubble gummy, syrupy vibe that you find in a lot of fragrances from the house of Jean Paul Gaultier. But all of that 
in a very tropical way, like uh, especially because of the coconut and also the pineapple. And there is also something effervescent in this opening. There is something fresh in the opening of this fragrance as well. So the mix of pineapple and coconut that are some of the main players of this composition are gonna bring that typical kind of tropical beach sunscreen vibe to the composition, which is really nice, but it feels wrong actually. When I'm wearing this fragrance, it almost feels wrong because this fragrance feels like a summer fragrance that wasn't actually made for summer because this fragrance definitely smells like a summer fragrance but doesn't behave like one. It's very punchy, it's heavy, it's dense, so it's definitely not a fragrance for the summer. Uh, and you get this sponge from the moment you spray the fragrance up to the very end and there is a lot of tonka bean in this fragrance so it's not a summer fragrance at all. The fragrance also opens with a hint of iris. It's a very nice iris uh, with a typical lipsticky makeup feel that you find, especially the Dior Online, the Givenchy line, you find it as well, the Reserve Privé, etc. But the iris in this fragrance, it's not the main player, but you're definitely gonna smell this iris, and the iris is actually very important because it smooths things down, it makes the fragrance a bit smoother, uh, it balances the fragrance, especially because of the tonka bean of this fragrance, because the tonka bean is actually a harsh note, uh, it's actually punchy, uh, and the iris actually make the fragrance a bit smoother, a bit uh, more velvety, it's really nice. As the fragrance develops, I get a bit of cypress as well that brings kind of a green and woodsy vibe in the background, uh, and also this fragrance has something that I love as well. It has a kind of a nutty or an almondy undertone that almost feels like someone took a Lomi Dial and poured a bit of Lomi Dial in this fragrance so you have a bit of that almondy vibe. There's definitely an almond accord in this fragrance which is really nice, uh, very nice indeed. As this fragrance develops, uh, it's, it's gonna get a bit more woodsy. Uh, the fragrance uh, actually is going to get even better with time. To me, the dry down of this fragrance is also beautiful, it's really nice, and I honestly don't know why there is not more talk about this fragrance. As you can see, I'm wearing a lot of it because this is addictive. This is a very nice fragrance. Uh, it has a, a great performance. It performs over 10 hours on my skin. It's a compliment getter. Uh, it smells good. Uh, I, I don't understand why people don't talk more about this fragrance because this is actually really nice. Uh, the good thing about this fragrance as well is because this fragrance play with my senses. Uh, sometimes when I apply this fragrance, the dry down, I get different dry downs uh, depending on the temperature of my skin. Sometimes the dry down is a bit smoother, sometimes a bit more dense, sometimes it's a bit more creamy, more woodsy, and sometimes I really like this because sometimes when I apply this fragrance and I'm walking towards the dry down. The fragrance reminds me uh, like a coconut candy that I used to have uh, in Brazil in my childhood, uh, which is made of like coconut and burnt sugar. It's really nice, very nice smell indeed. I love this different dry down that I get in this fragrance all the time. As the fragrance keeps uh, going, keeps developing, uh, I will still get this tropical vibe up to the end of this fragrance, and the fragrance ends its life uh, a bit sweeter, a bit more resinous with this amber and tonka bean, a bit fruity as well with this kind of chewy fruity vibe, a bit creamy, you definitely get that milky creaminess of the sandalwood and of course this tropical vibe that comes from the coconut and the pineapple that is gonna last throughout the entire life of this fragrance. Very nice indeed, kind of complex, very nice. Give it a try and see if you like it. Okay guys, this was my review. Let's go now to the ratings of Le Beau Le Parfum. And now the ratings for Le Beau Le Parfum. We start with the presentation. I really enjoy this presentation. I think it looks really nice. It looks very rich. It doesn't look poor at all. The torso was already nice, but now it's perfect with this new upgrade. Beautiful presentation, the glass is thick, the bottle is very well built, the spray is very good, the stopper is very nice. I'm gonna give 10 out of 10 to this presentation because I like it this much. Now we go to versatility, uh, weather versatility. As I said, this is a fragrance that smells like summer, but it's not a summer fragrance at all. This thing is heavy. I'd say you can wear this summer nights, perfect, uh, spring nights, perfect, mild spring days, perfect if you can pull this off and definitely fall and winter day and night. Uh, occasions, what are the occasions for this fragrance? 
this is a very playful fragrance. I wouldn't wear this on a very formal occasion. It's very nice. I went to a restaurant with my wife. Yeah, it wasn't a formal, it was just a, a date night. It was very nice. I got a few compliments with this fragrance. It works very well for dates. Uh, because they th this thing smells nice and sweet and it lasts for a long time, very nice for dates. Uh, perfect for clubbing, like if you like going out with friends, this kind of situations, even office, if you don't overspray, it's very nice everyday wear, gorgeous fragrance. Performance, how does this thing perform? It projects for two hours, good projection on my skin and it lasts for 10 solid hours. So I'd say perfect uh, performance on this fragrance, I could ask for more. And finally, smell. How does this thing smell? I don't believe I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 because I love this fragrance so much. There's nothing unique about this fragrance. Sometimes I'm looking for something unique. Sometimes I just want to smell good. I just want to be happy with my fragrance. And this fragrance does this to me. I love the fact that the dry down, I get different dry downs every time. Sometimes I get a sweeter dry down, sometimes a bit woodsier dry down. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe for more. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Don't forget that I'm Mark Lacerda and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.